Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the MIC chat. Today, Joe Kelly, one of our moderators in chat, has graced us with another Sunday how-to series video that comes out every Sunday. But today, in this preview, which you can get the full-length video becoming an exclusive member, he talks about defining an edge with data. All right, let's get into it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're back for another episode here. Today, we are going to talk about data tracking. So, the first part of data tracking for me was this, and this is just kind of how I'm going to work through it. For the first part of data tracking for me was developing what side of the trade I understood the most. It's not necessarily which side I should have the most bias on, because if you ask me now, I don't want to have a bias. I wish I could flip sides long, short, long, short, long, short, but I still struggle with that because, my, because of what my mind focused on in the beginning. So, I'm going to show you how I track data, how I find stocks that I want to track the performance of. This is the parameters of the scam. Anything between $1 and $20, up 35% today, with 3,000 or more day trades, which means this is executions on the tape, so that means it's got to be liquid, and day's dollar volume, of three million or greater. It's a very common scan if you've probably seen some stuff out there, but I ran it, it worked for me, and I liked the results, so I kept it. And this is always what I've focused on. Now, one thing I wanna point out is markets. I don't scan for OTCs with this. These three stocks. So now what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna keep the market cap in the float that I receive from equity feed, whether it's 1000% right or not, it's better than nothing. So at least I have a kind of a starting point. I don't think it's right. There's been many times where I think it's wrong, but that's beside the point. So let's remove some of these columns here. We're only gonna leave volume, market cap, float, and ticker. The data here that you see is the open, high, low, and close in the percent return on day one. Okay, remember our criteria was that it had to be above 35% or more for us to consider it a top percent gainer, for myself to consider it a top percent gainer. Now on day two, I did not care whether it gapped up or gapped down. I wanted to see what it did. Where does the edge lie after day one? Is it on the long side or is it on the short side? I don't know, let's try to prove it here. So this is the day two open, high, low, and close in day two's volume. If we wanted to do a volume study, we could. I haven't focused on that in this particular example, but it's better to have the data and not need it than need it and not have it, so. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.